A warm welcome back to Midweek Madness right here on Afternoon Express. So we're in the kitchen today and it, absolute, it is absolute mayhem here on all the social media sites too. I've tried to go and Google and find out exactly how to pronounce gratin because ourself and our chef Izette have all tried different things. You call it gratin. 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 I call it gratin. Apparently gratin is also another way to pronounce it. Uh, Hannah on Twitter is also saying gratin. Uh, uh, also the, the pronunciations are like weird like things. So if anyone knows how to pronounce gratin, we would be very, very grateful. So that's what we're making on the show today. A beetroot and cauliflower gratin. Um, how do we get started? Okay. To start, you take two um, cauliflower heads. Mm -hmm. Good quality, beautiful white colour. Yes. Nice and firm, not wilted. So then you just chop it into sort of smallish florets. It's not that critical because you will roast it mm. and afterwards you'll puree. Then you um, put it in a bowl. Okay. I guess you put both sides into the bowl, right? You're just showing us how to do the one for now. Yeah. Cool. So um, just finish that. Put all of it into the bowl. Toss with some olive oil. Mm. This is a great one for winter because it's packed full of vegetables, which is great for you. And it's also a dish you can serve warm. I guess you can also eat it slightly cold yeah. if you'd like to. Salt, freshly ground black pepper pinch of chilli. Chilli yes. always adds that beautiful flavour to any dish. And opens up all those sinuses. Garlic good for your immune system. Yeah, about four whole cloves of, cloves of garlic. Goodness. And then just Yummy. sort of toss it in the olive oil. Mm -hmm. Place it on a baking sheet and then you roast it in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade for about 20 Five to 30 minutes. Okay, and that comes out looking something like this. Yep. So once it's in the oven for that long, it should like brown slightly and it'll be really nice and soft on the inside. Yeah. Okay, and what's next? So next is, in the meantime, you boil your beetroot. Best to boil beetroot. You fill a pot with cold water, uh -huh. add the beetroot, skin on, and then boil for, at a rapid boil, for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so you want it nice and soft there, yeah. all the way through. Why do you keep the skin on? Because I see this one doesn't have any skin on it. Do you peel yeah, it so then you, afterwards? You peel it afterwards. It's oh. best to also keep your nutrients inside during the boiling oh, process and also the colour. It doesn't leach that much. Okay, so you, I, obviously you boil it then with the skin on, keep everything internal, and then yeah. once it's done boiling, it's nice and soft, you then peel all the outside yeah, layers off. Yeah, and it's very easy okay. to boil, uh, to peel after boiling. Okay, fantastic. So what do we need to do to that? So is that it? Is that it for this it. part now? Okay, so the next part obviously going to show everyone how to like assemble it all, blitz it all up. Do we yeah. have to blitz that yet? Yes. Okay, let's do that. that. That's also easy to do. So you put your cauliflower into the, you pretty much use the same bowl because it's all the same flavors. Yeah. You can do that and then you blitz it. Mm. You're making a sort of puree out of that. Yeah. Mm. Oh wow, it almost turns into like a paste. It becomes like a mash in so many ways. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, so this is puree to a lovely, smooth, silky consistency that mm -hmm. is part of, I think, cauliflower to add to that very creamy oh, flavor, which is so delicious. Yay. Cauliflower. And then later on, obviously, we'll be showing everyone how to combine all these ingredients together and just to make the perfect gratin. So if you haven't made one yourself, make sure you guys go and visit our website. It's afternoonexpress.co.za. You can also find the shopping list for this delicious recipe we're making on the show today. So I must say that, obviously, these veggies are really, really good for you, but I know that there are some medicines out there that are also really good for you. So I'm taking a close listen to this interview. So we're making a gratin, grat oh, whatever you pronounce it, gratin on the show today. Uh, we've prepared our broccoli, I mean, sorry, our Cauli. cauliflower, and we've, we've uh, mushed that up quite nicely. What's left? I've also added some mascarpone to the Ooh. pureed cauliflower. It adds a lovely richness Ooh. to the dish. Yummy. So instead of using yogurt, we're putting some other kind of uh, sort of fermented yeah. something in there for our gut. You see, yeah. I'm learning. So that's done. The beetroot, freshly boiled peeled and sliced. So to assemble, this dish is very easy to assemble. Just the way we like it on Afternoon yeah. Express. So first you um, just line a roasting oven dish with half of the sliced beetroot. Okay. It's almost like kind of making a lasagna, but with vegetables. Yeah, and it's beautiful. I mean, beetroot being a 
root vegetable. It's also so nutritious. The yes. color is beautiful. Lots of fiber in mm. it. And the combination of the intense color of the beetroot with your... White cauliflower and uh, the sort of cheese. Isn't that beautiful? It's amazing. And it looks so healthy for you. Yeah. Oh, yum, so you yum. add all the cauli puree. And then I guess one more layer of beetroot. Yeah. So cauliflower is part of the brassica family, which is broccoli, Brussels sprouts, ah. and again, full of nutrients. The beauty of cauliflower, it's also low in kilojoules. Oh, so word. it's a very popular low-carb vegetable. Jeannie just suddenly became interested in this cooking segment right here, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> So okay. anyway, you layer with the rest of the beetroot on top. Uh -huh. And that's adding like another sort of, as, as you would add pasta layers, this is the yep. sort of layer of beetroot that we're adding instead. Okay, it's your fleshy meat. Yeah. Your fleshy vegetable. Next thing, um, some buffalo mozzarella. Oh, buffalo mozzarella. This stuff is thebomb.com. It is the most so delicious you just thing. just torn it oh, over. I'm guessing if you just can't find... Just look at the color contrast. Mm, oh, yummy. If you can't find, obviously, mozzarella di buffalo, you can always you can. buy yourself... Uh, um, what is the other one called? Also, that mo it's got the l almost liquid mozzarella on the inside. Um, can't remember. Looking for a drying yeah, cloth. Yeah, please. Got. Sorry. Thank for you. For your hands. Anyway, so that's some freshly grated parmesan cheese over. Yummy. Oh, is it? You're such a pro in this kitchen. I could have you as mom in the kitchen any day. Um, yummy. A Lovely winter dish for a vegetarian. You can have it on its own Yum. with a crunchy salad, crusty oh. bread. I'd love to see how everyone else makes this dish at home because, I mean, it is one of those ones that you can keep cold and just keep reheating and it's so delicious and it's a healthy view at the same time. If you want to get the recipe for this... We're not done yet, though. No, I know we're not done. Breadcrumbs. Sorry, I'm busy jumping ahead of the gun yeah. here. Then just um, top with a layer of breadcrumbs. Which browns have nicely. Have Aha. Because um, gratin comes from the root word. Great. Yeah. And then some additional oregano. You oh, can yummy. also replace the dried oregano with fresh basil, thyme. coriander, thyme, Italian parsley, another grind of um, black pepper. pepper, salt. Then you bake Open it the in the oven 180 for 25 to 30 minutes. Delicious. This is also ideal as a veg side dish for your roast. Yummy. Instead of making a bake or something, you yeah. can make something like this. So delicious and it's really simple to make. So if you guys want to go and get the recipe and the shopping list, it's on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. We'll see you after this. YouTubers, thank you so much for watching. Your support means the world to us. Join the Afternoon Express family by subscribing to our channel right here. And we'll keep you up to date with all our recipes and of course our fabulous episodes. Also, feel free to leave a comment and share this video. We do love it when you express yourself.